What's up Hawks? I'm Grace Hopkins and welcome to Monday's episode of the Hawk Hit News. We've got a rather interesting show for you today, so let's get started. Before we hop into today's show, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks everyone. Today we're starting off the show a bit somber as I come to you guys with another news feature about a recent attack on some Russian college students. This last Wednesday, there was an attack by a gunman at Crimea College on the Kerch Peninsula next to Russia that left 20 people dead and 40 injured. A student of the college went on a shooting spree and detonated a bomb in which he then killed himself afterwards. Russia's investigative committee said in a statement, according to preliminary data, unidentified explosive device packed with metal objects went off today in the dining room off of the college. They have now clarified that most of the victims were teenagers. In order pr to prevent such a devastating attack to our school, the school district is leading an ALICE training beginning tomorrow at North Pole High School. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, Evacuate, and we're hoping it will keep our schools safe. Thank you for tuning into my special report. Now let's get on a lighter note and go over to Kyle for today's episode of SSP Shine or Shame. Will Mr. McKenzie's class be shamed or will they shine? What up, Hawks? I'm your host, Kyle, and this is SSP Shine or Shame. So last week, we asked Mr. McKenzie's class to take a photo of them forming a pyramid. Can we get that one on screen? Now while this is technically a pyramid, it's not exactly the pyramid we were hoping for. So Mr. McKenzie, try harder next time. So, so far, we have two shines and no shames. So let's see, is the next teacher going to be shined or shamed? This week's teacher is Mr. Flynn. And your challenge will be the ice bucket challenge. So, send a photo or a video to benjamin.johnson at k12northstar.org or we will shame you. Well, that's all the time I have for today, Hawks. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Kyle. Remember, Miss James, your class has to do the ice bucket challenge and send in a photo or video of it to Mr. Johnson via email or in person. All right, now that's all of that is out of the way, let's head out to Alden for today's Need to Know announcements. I'm Alden Jerome, and this is your Need to Know. All right, Hawks, remember that the Socktober event is happening through the end of the month, so make sure that you bring your clean, unused socks to the front office, and we will hook you guys up with some spirit points for our top one, two, and three classes at the homecoming assembly. Are you thinking about going to UAF or maybe you're not sure whether you want to or not? There's going to be an informational field trip on November 1st from 9 to 11 a.m. Stop by the counseling office for more information and to sign up. Juniors and seniors, if you are thinking about a career in the military, there is still plenty of time to sign up to take the ASVAP test on November 30th, so stop by the counseling office for more information. That's all the announcements I have for you. Now back to Grace in the studio. Thanks, Alden. That's all for today, Hawks. While this episode was a roller coaster of emotions, we still hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Hawk Hit News. And we'll see you next time. Until then, happy Halloween. It's just a jump to the left.